Hello everyone, Landon here from Nonstop Angling, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, and probably tell by the title of this video, we are back in the boat, doing a little work. Um, this is video number two of the boat restoration process. So, as you can tell, right behind me, I'm about to show you, we just bought two new batteries, uh, each 12 volt, so we can have a 24 volt system for our new Fortrex. Um, I'll show you right now. So initially, the boat had this one big battery in here, all wired up to the old trolling motor. We just got these two, 12 volt, 12 volt. Those will go together with this little guy right here. Um, and then obviously, that right here comes from the trolling motor. Those will be all hooked up there, and we'll have a full power to this baby and be able to take it out, hopefully this weekend for the maiden voyage. Um, but if we take a step back here, when my dad picked up the boat, he never unplugged it. This is the central charger, or where the central charger was to charge the starter battery, the trolling motor battery, and you know the battery back there. Um, so that's that's uh, clearly non-existent anymore. So we have to fix that before we can do anything. So that's on our list to get fixed. And then these adapters are also too small. They don't fit the terminals on here. So these need to be changed out as well. A lot of really annoying, tedious electric, electric, electric work that needs to be done. Of course, if my dad maybe, you know, took a deep breath, calmed down a little bit, and didn't drive away so fast, he wouldn't have snapped or ripped the plug right out from the boat. So that's a big pain in the butt, um, but obviously not going to let that hold us back. We're going to go out, buy everything we need, rewire everything. I've never dealt with elect electrics, electri electricity at all. Um, so this is all gonna be very new to me. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error, but I have confidence we can get it done. I obviously really wanna get the boat out this weekend. It's July 4th right now, so happy 4th of July. Um, if you're watching this, it's obviously not the 4th anymore, but happy 4th of July. Hope you all had a good one. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get out this weekend. It's Thursday currently. I wanna get out by at least Saturday, so. We'll see what we can do. Um, I'll check back in with you guys once we have all the supplies necessary to complete this project. So I'll see you in a little bit. Peace. All right, guys, so we have both batteries in now. As you can see, um, got our adapter to positive battery one, negative battery two, that is the uh, connector here. And then you have the black wire from the trolling motor here on negative battery one, and the pot, the red on positive battery two. So that's how they're all wired up together. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. But I think we have solved our wiring issue here. Um, let's take a look at what we've got going on. So, this is an extension cord. We cut, pulled out the three wires, um, the neutral, the ground, and the hot wire. Um, so green is ground, white is neutral, and black is hot. Connected to the black to the blue, which is the hot for this cord. Um, yellow and green, which is the ground for this cord. And then the brown, which is the neutral for this one. So those are all linked up there, as you can see. Um, just got them with, with some connectors on there. And then it runs down to this and that's your plug so this is what my dad ripped out of the boat on accident um hopefully i did this right and it should all be fixed and we should be able to charge the entire boat now but electrical work is not my thing that was not fun but i think we got it done right so uh let's plug this boat in and see if she runs well let's see if she charges thanks so now we're going to turn the trolling motor on and see if she works moment of truth let's see how she does all right moment of truth Success, baby. We did it. Super excited about that. Glad we got that done successfully. Um, super easy if you ever need to rig a 24 volt battery setup to your motor. Simple as all hell. So let's go. So, to eliminate stress on these, we're going to drill a hole right through here, feed the holes through. I'm probably going to uh, drill this in and mount it right here. So we'll have that nice and centered there. Very comfortable when fishing, but gotta take care of these wires. So we're gonna run that hole 
right through there and the wires go down and around and then come out down there. So, got a little bit of work to do, but it's all gonna be worth it in the end. All right, everyone, as you can probably tell, we are finally out on the water on the boat. Of course, the back deck is not finished yet, but the trolling water is all set up. <clears throat> Everything's all wired together. Boat's running smooth. Haven't uh, got her on plane yet, but we're just kind of idling out of uh, the back bay from the launch here. I'm super excited. You know, if we catch a fish, awesome. If not, whatever. But we're bringing the boat out for the first time, so I'm stoked. Obviously, still have some work left to do, but... We're just gonna take her out there, hopefully have some first day luck and catch some fish. I'm gonna do a little bit of musky fishing, maybe dabble in some bass, but it'd be pretty sweet to christen this boat with the musky. So stick with us, stay tuned. We're finally on the boat. Thanks for following along. I'm still gonna keep doing updates on uh, you know, the, the, the work progress as we move along, but let's get out on the water. We're out on Lake Delavan today, Southern Wisconsin. Um, almost out there, so let's go catch some fish. All right, first fish in the new boat. My dad got his first swim bait fish too on the DRT Tiny Clash. A little one pounder, but that's fun. First fish in the boat, guys. Let's get him unhooked, get him back. Oh, nice. Good job. Pike, musky, holy sh big pike, bring him in. No, no, no. Good fish. Yeah. Felt like I caught a log. Yeah, send it back. Big pike on the tiny clash. 